everybody, welcome to Hobby Life. It's Brody the Kid here. I hope you're all staying safe out there. Um, you can see it's just me for this show because Illinois is in lockdown, so I can't really go anywhere, so it's just going to be me. Hope you all are staying safe out there, and it's going to be a little different today, but we're still going to have an awesome show. So, we have an awesome product review today. 2019 Tops Total Baseball. It's an awesome product. We're going to see. We're probably going to get some awesome stuff out there. Let's see. Um, we're going to have su a surprise card hunt that I planned in my neighborhood with all of my friends. It was really fun. Make sure to stay tuned for that. And we're also going to hear from some different people on the hobby. Some breakers and some surprise guests. So it's going to be fun. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. Alright guys, I said the show is going to be a little bit different today. And here's the part where it gets a little bit different. So, I called some of my friends, some breakers, some special surprises, and I asked them if they could do a quick video about stuff they're doing to keep them through these times and what we can do to still have fun and to stay safe. So, I'm going to roll these randomly throughout the show, but why don't we play a couple right now? Hit it, producer! Brody the Kid, what's up? It's Tracy Ackler from Panini America, and first and foremost, Thoughts and prayers from all of us to all of your listeners, viewers, watchers. Uh, we're doing our best at Panini America to keep it fun and to keep the faith as well. But anyway, one of the things we're doing, we brought back Panini Wildcard on Twitter just for this occasion. We're giving away a box of trading cards a day uh, to anyone who uh, participates. Go to Twitter, post a pic of yourself and the card or cards that take your mind off all this coronavirus mess and we're awarding one lucky participant each day with a box of cards. It's been phenomenally well received so far. We're excited about that. Uh, the new releases don't stop. We have two big ones coming out this week. 2019 National Treasures Football and 2020 Prism Draft Picks Football both arrive on uh, Friday. For anybody that might be sheltering in place, quarantining themselves, practicing safe social distance, our Panini America apps, Blitz and Dunk, are perfect for staying inside and, and uh, having fun with trading cards. So we're doing our best to keep it fun. Um, this will get past us in no time, and we'll look back on it as a little bump in the road. So, Brody, keep doing what you're doing. We appreciate you. We'll see you. Hey, this is the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, the National Treasure, Nick Aldis, with a quick message for the Hobby Life viewers out there. Stay safe during this weird, crazy quarantine season and take advantage of the time you have to do something productive. I know it's easier said than done, but for me, I've been working on another book. I've been trying to do more content. Most of you guys out there, you have a phone, you have a computer, you have an internet connection. Try to do something that you've, been meaning to, that you've been meaning to do, you've been putting off maybe, and try to take this opportunity to work on something, work on yourself, because there's one thing that the, the coronavirus and all of this quarantine craziness cannot take away from you, it's your ability to work on yourself. Learn a new language, learn a new skill, take a course, take a class, do something, be productive and we will all get through this together and hopefully when we come out the other end maybe some of you will have added some more skills and more strings to your bow and in the meantime the quicker we stay away from each other and we get through this the quicker we can all get back to normal nick goldis the nwa champion with the 10 pounds of gold is this real they did this for you guys Hey, what's up, guys? This is Billy from Steel City Collectibles, and we're coming at you this week with Brody the Kid. Now, I'm the marketing coordinator for Steel City Collectibles, which means you see me in a lot of videos, whether it's on YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter. But we do a lot of the weekly recaps as well as the social media posts. Anytime you send us a question, I'm the one that reaches out to you guys to try to get you taken care of. So it's a crazy time right now. I know a lot of people are reorganizing their collections. We're working from home right now. Um, uh, we are still taking orders and everything at Steel City Collectibles. You can always place orders at steelcitycollectibles.com. 
The break room right now is temporarily closed, but we're hoping to get that back up before the end of the week. And we will announce that on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, anywhere that uh, we have social media. So uh, Steel City Collectibles just started a TikTok page. If you search SEC Trading Cards, you'll find us. We'll be posting some great hits on there, some other small videos, as well as on our Facebook page, Twitter page, Instagram page. So uh, we hope everybody's having a very safe time at home. We hope everybody's doing things to uh, keep themselves busy busy and have fun. And the best thing you can do is just keep talking and reaching out to those other collectors in the hobby, whether it's on social media or if you have their cell phone number, keep reaching out to people, talking with people. That's the best thing you can do right now is we all need to support each other. So uh, once again, this is Billy from Steel City Collectibles. I hope you all have a very safe, productive, and happy time right now while we are uh, fighting this coronavirus. So we'll talk to you soon. Alright guys, so I'm sure you're all bored of being stuck in your house. I'm bored too, so I decided I needed to come up with an idea of something to do. So I figured, let's see if there's kids in my neighborhood that collect cards. So here's what I did. I posted on the neighborhood Facebook page that we're going to be having the scavenger hunt at 3 o'clock. And we went to the park at 3 o'clock and it was madness. We were getting trampled by kids, but well, not, not literally trampled, but I mean, you know, we had to keep our social distance, obviously, but it, I'm using that as a term as there was kids everywhere because we were getting followed by kids. I was like, five each kids, you can only have five to keep it so that everybody could get some, but it was madness. Um, it was a lot of fun and kids enjoyed it a lot. I finally got to see some of my friends that I haven't seen in I don't even know how long. I've lost track of days. But obviously, we kept social distancing. At least I could be like, Yo, what up, bro? But then, hashtag social distancing. Roll the clip! What's up, guys? I'm about to go hide the cards for the card hunt. Let's do this! I like this spot. I taped it to a tree. I wish carts grew on trees. This is awesome. It's crazy. I'm just gonna throw them out the window like I'm at the Thanksgiving Day Parade. These kids are crazy. Thanks, BK. Hey, Brody, I got a baseball card. It's crazy here. There's so many kids. I can't believe there's so many kids in my neighborhood that like cards. Yeah, buddy. One of my friends ran up to me. Okay, but he, he kept a social distance. Six feet. You gotta keep six feet. But he said, I found the autograph. And I'm like, nice job, Jackson. That's very nice. What, what did you What did you find? Well, I um I found Mike Scott and Spencer Dinwiddie. Oh, uh, Spencer Dinwiddie. Okay, and basketball. I yeah. Found, uh, Tristan, Tristan Thompson. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. This one was in a bag. These one are just like in like sleeves. Oh, okay. Cool. This is very nice. Awesome. Well, let's let's uh, we'll share your video. Okay. Yeah. Man, that was fun. There was a lot of kids there. 
I wasn't even sure if there was gonna be a lot of kids, but it's good because we got a lot of kids into the hobby. Make sure to enter your numbers and try to win the grand prize. Listen to this. So I was reading the Facebook of all the comments and this one parent said that her kid was really excited to go, but when they got there, all the cards were gone. So it bummed them out and it bummed me out too. So I'm like, I'm not gonna let this kid down. So I decided that we're gonna go to his house and we're gonna have his own mini card hunt. Um, it's his birthday on Monday. It's a surprise. It's gonna be awesome. I'm not gonna let him down. I hope you have fun, Kaden. accomplished. Hope you enjoy your hunt, kid. I wanted to give you your own hunt. I hid cards in your front yard. Ready, go. Uh, I found like thousands of them already. Is that super cool that he I did that? I found one, two, three, four, five. Hope you enjoyed your hunt, Kate, and welcome to the neighborhood. And peace out. Back in the day, they used to put gum in your card packs. <laughs> it's not even gum anymore. Let's see it. What does it look like? Hold it in your hand. What year are these cards? 1990? That gum's like 30 years old. Ew. <laughs> All right, guys, let's roll a couple more. You're not going to believe who is on this one. Oh, hey, I didn't even see you there. My name is Emily Kless, and I'm the communications manager at Tops. Just like you, I'm home organizing my baseball cards. But uh, let's pass the time together. So take a photo of your binders, your favorite card in your collection, or maybe even just have an, a memorable autograph story to tell. Tweet at us at Tops and use the hashtag Tops Together. And don't forget to include Brody too. Uh, stay safe, everyone, and uh, hope you're doing well. Can't wait to see those collections. Allow me to beg your indulgence for one moment. This is the former intellectual savior of the masses, Damian Sandow, now known as Aaron Stevens. And I just want to take one second and talk about Brody the Kid. Yes, you may know him from Hobby Life, Kid's like an OG of card collecting, man. I just, I wish I had half the talent he did and then the patience and everything to, to get all these things. I, I really don't know much about trading cards, but I know it, it's kind of a cool world and it's something that a lot of people are kind of overlooking now. I mean, you can make a lot of money in those things, I heard. But anyways, I digress. Look, whether you know me as a former WWE superstar or the NWA third degree national champion, I just want to let you guys know that in this time, we're all experiencing uh, a little bit of um, a shift, right? There's there's some different things going on. People are staying at home more. Events are being canceled. Yes, we would much rather be out there. But you know what? We can use this time for positivity. You card collectors, organize your trading cards. Find out what you don't have. Find out what you would like to have. Uh, research about stuff. You never know. You could go down a rabbit hole of baseball cards. It's like awesome and you don't even need the internet for it. Imagine that. This Brody kid's on to something. So look, everyone just try to stay positive, regroup, be good to each other, be healthy, be safe. And when we get out and run again as a, as a world, really, and not even just as a country, but as a, as a whole planet, right? I think we're going to come back better than ever. And Brody the kid, he's one to watch. Was Damien Sandow just on Hobby Life? Hey guys, Lou Jr. here from Gary Vaynerchuk's team. Um, I help out on Edison Cards, and I do some collecting of my own. Uh, right now, I'm just at home, working from home, given everything going on in the world right now. Um, not too much has changed for me, honestly. I'm lucky to be able to do what I do from my apartment. Um, but, you know, I'm home a lot more now, obviously, so uh, got a little more free time. I've been spending my time researching prospects in baseball, playing video games. If you guys like Call of Duty, let me know. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously you guys know who this, this is, but I finally decided to grab one of these and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, so yeah, so just doing research, hanging out, 
been doing a lot of FaceTimes with like friends and family, which I haven't been doing up until now, and I'm excited I'm able to do that. Um, yeah, so I'm just staying home, staying safe and healthy. I hope you guys are doing the same. Not leaving your house unless you absolutely have to. Um, washing your hands, all, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, so I will see everyone soon. You could follow me on Twitter if you want at Lewis Janu, at Edison Cars on Instagram and Twitter. Um, and I will see you soon, Brody. Later, brother. All right, guys, it's time for product review. So today, we're going to be opening something special that I've been saving. We're going to be opening all nine waves of 2019 Topps Total Baseball. So this was an online exclusive release that you can only get each wave um, for, I think, like, maybe a month or something like that. There's 900 cards in the whole thing, 100 cards per wave. You get 10 cards per pack. You can get numbered cards, autographs. Um, the new 2020 Topps Total... Um, wave 1 is on the site to I believe April 3rd so you can get that now it's a really awesome product so I got um, the best cards you're looking for in each wave so for wave 1 we're looking for Trout, Acuna, and Tatis Jr. I think that's card number 1, card number 2, card number 3 so um, let's get into this let's see how we do just a silver pack Alright, so there's the design, pretty cool. Steve Pierce. Hey, there we go. So we got a Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie, that's awesome. Really nice foil on the cards. Sweet. I will take it. Alright. And J.D. Davis. So I believe if you get an auto or a numbered, I think it will be the last card. So, kind of know. Alright, wave two. We got Aaron Judge, Juan Soto, and Vlad Jr. Alright. Let's see what we get. Yeah, so inside you just have a couple of those, like, foam things. And then your silver pack. The mystery pack. Like I said, very nice foil on these. I like them. And it's a 900 card base set, so you can, you know, collect some of the maybe not as big names that are on your favorite team or went to your favorite college or whatever. There's a cool Daniel Murphy, Corey Kluber. Um, that's cool. All right, there's wave two. All right, by the way. If you're wondering how I know which is which, I, uh, when we got them all, I, uh, I numbered them so you wouldn't forget. Because it basically would be possible to tell which was which without opening them. So, here we go. Wave number three. Oh, yeah. We're looking for Mookie Betts and Pete Alonzo. Mookie Betts will be in his Red Sox uniform, but as we all know, he is now on the Dodgers. It is kind of weird. Hey, right off the bat, a Pete Alonzo rookie. Nice. That's awesome. Alright, so we've gotten two of the three big rookies to chase for so far. Some nice photography, I think, on these two. Troy Twolitsky. It's weird. It's weird seeing him in the Yankees uniform. It really is. I think we do have a red coming up. I don't know what that's number two, to be honest. Hey, well, I take Castillo. He was not a White Sox anymore, but I liked him when he was on the White Sox. And we do have a red, and it is 5 of 10 of Rosel Herrera. Sweet looking card. It's a rookie, too. Any Marlins fans, that's pretty awesome. Numbered 5 of 10. That's awesome. So there we go. Not three waves and not too bad of a start. Um, wave four, we got Bryce Harper and um, Eloy Jimenez. So let's see. Our Silver pack again. All right, Rowdy, Tellez rookie. It's not too bad. I think he, I think he has potential. I really do. I really do think he does. Oops, Kelvin Herrera, who was on the White Sox last year. And Conley, Jose Rondon, former White Sox, not on them anymore. 
Luis Castillo played pretty well for the Reds last year. Alright, not exactly what we're looking for, but we still could do it pretty good. I am ready for some more positivity. Let's watch some more videos. What's up, Brody? How are you? Thank you so much for having me on your show. This is Mikey B of Mikey B Cards. For those of you who I haven't met yet, I am an online breaker. I break on YouTube usually three nights a week on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, break all sports. Um, I'm doing what a lot of people are doing right now as we adjust to our new normal, which is basically getting the collection together, doing a lot of sorting, a lot of figuring out you know, where my prospects are, what do I want to do with the cards that um, I no longer want, uh, the best place to sell them, and so forth. I'm really trying to come up with a lot of great new content for YouTube. My channel is not always just breaks. I do a lot of product reviews a lot of tips and tricks around like grading, how to save money shipping, uh, and all sorts of good stuff. So I'm looking for new ways to kind of add some good uh, content to the YouTube page. Uh, and then I do a lot of interacting with people on Instagram and Twitter. So that's definitely not going to go away. I've got a couple of things that I'm working on in the future. They're in development right now. So shh, they're uh, a little hushed right now, but hopefully I'll be sharing them with everybody really soon. So. I hope everyone is safe out there right now. They're washing their hands, social distancing, all that good stuff. Hopefully we get through everything here quickly and uh, we get back to uh, our normal as fast as we can. Uh, stay safe, everybody. I hope to connect with you. If you want to find me, you can find all my information below, the websites, uh, where I am on Twitter and Instagram, and my YouTube channel. So thanks again, Brody, and I hope to be on The Hobby Life as a full-time guest here pretty soon. So until then, we'll say deuces. See you, buddy. Hey, everybody. It's Luke Miller. I'm the director of purchasing with Southern Hobby Supply. Uh, I just want to say thanks to Brody for having us on this week's episode of Hobby Life. Um, coming to you live uh, from my apartment in Nashville, Tennessee, where it is a beautiful 75 and sunny outside. Uh, I'm making it very hard to social distance and stay inside, but we are definitely doing that. Uh, I've been working from home um, and getting a little stir crazy, but doing my part uh, and staying inside, but just want to share a few notes on how myself and the whole Southern Hobby family is staying positive during this whole uh, pandemic. Um, just want to start off by saying, um, we're focusing on the products and the new releases that are coming out. Um, there's been quite a few over the past, uh, this week and last week. Um, some that come to mind, you've got Topps Gypsy Queen Baseball, Topps Inception Baseball, uh, National Treasures Football, obviously huge. Um, Flawless Football's next week. Uh, a couple weeks, we've got Upper Deck, OPC Platinum Hockey coming out. So it's an exciting time, exciting time of the year uh, in the sports card industry. Um, even from Southern Hobby, we just got a new shipment of Fancy Sports Break Basketball in, which is our exclusive uh, repack product, which is awesome. Um, it's going right back out the door today to all of our customers. Um, so yeah, we're just keeping the focus on the products. I've been watching a ton of breaks. Um, a lot of exciting stuff being pulled uh, by our customers and um, other people in the hobby. Um, so it's pretty awesome to see. It's an awesome time. I'm glad um, people aren't getting too down and staying uh, staying in on breaks because there's not much else to do when you're inside. Um, a few other things I've been doing. I've been uh, I've been binging Netflix, uh, Tiger King. If you haven't seen it, it's very interesting. You guys should go watch it. Um, also, I've been playing a ton of board games, puzzles. I think I've completed two 1500 piece puzzles. So pretty uh, proud of that accomplishment. And then uh, just, you know, playing video games and uh, watching movies. That's about it. Uh, that's about all there is to do. So I uh, just hope everyone stays safe out there and um, do your part. Stay inside. And uh, thanks to Brody again for having us on. Hey, guys, this is Gail Kim, and I'm sending you a video from home. And, you know, I'm hoping everyone out there is at home as well quarantining from this coronavirus and so we can get through this together faster and stronger and you know some of the things that Robert my husband and I have been doing to stay positive is you know making the most of our time working out uh, finding out there are trails nearby social distancing finding great workouts at home finding uh, you know doing all those things that you've always wanted to try that you always keep putting off like teaching yourself something new um, but I just want to say thank you and especially to Brody the kid for doing this and um, keeping everyone positive. So let's stay in this together and we will come shining through. Love you all. 
Was that Gail Kim on my show? Hobby Life? Legendary. Alright, wave five. We got Deavers and Glaber. Uh, maybe not as strong as a wave, but maybe we'll get a numbered card or something. Alright. Got our silver. I'm going to try to go like this since the numbered or auto is the last one if we have one. Cause, oh, it looks like we do have another red. Because I don't want to spoil it off the rip. Alright. Los Contreras from the Chicago Cubs. You know how I feel about that. Brandon Belt. Alright, our red. Hey, that's kind of cool. A White Sox, Ivan Nova. 10 of 10. So, not a White Sox anymore, but, I mean, that's still pretty cool. To be getting a White Sox. 10 of 10. The reds look nice, I will definitely say that. I think there's a black that... I think there might be an orange to 25 and a black to 5. I I haven't watched too much of this, so I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. Autos are rare, though. Um, I, I know that. Kyle Tucker. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Wave 6. Obviously, Tucker probably, too. And Christian Yelich, Jose Abreu for my White Sox, and Jeff McNeil, rookie, which wouldn't be too bad either. All right, Kyle Tucker. That's not too bad. JD Martinez. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely glad that they're bringing these back next year. Definitely. Steven Duggar, another rookie. Jalen Beeks. A lot of rookies in that pack. All right, you got three left. Wave seven, wave eight, and wave nine. Wave seven. Chris Bryant and Keston Hira. So it would be pretty cool. Pull Keston on here. All right. Because I think he's going to be a pretty good player. We do have another red. Man, a lot of reds in here. So maybe there's not a 25 parallel. Maybe this is the highest number parallel. I really don't know. Alright. Christian Walker. That's a cool one. He played pretty well last year. Josh Naylor, rookie. That's not too bad either. Alright, we're almost to our red. Let's see. It's another White Sox who the White Sox released and re-signed him. Nicky Delmonico. Also 10 of 10. That's pretty cool. Actually got his autograph in person. So that's awesome. I was I was a little upset when they released him. but I, And then when they re-signed him, I was really happy. All right. Wave 8. We got Otani, Goldschmidt, and Luis Urias. So... Let's see what we get. So obviously it seems like the earlier waves, um, some of your bigger name rookies will be in there. And then the later waves will have some cool vets probably. Alright, no color in here, but I mean we could still have an auto, which would be incredible. Chris Sale, who uh, had Tommy John, so bye-bye to, to his season. If there is a season. Well, I shouldn't say that. There, there'll, I'm sure there'll be a season. Mariano, not too bad either. Pedro Stroke. Kyle Seeger. Just smiling. And Cole Hamels. Kind of weird to see him in a Cubs uniform. Really is. All right. We have Wave 9. The last one. Verlander, Yoan Moncada, and Walker Bueller. Um... Come on, let's get a number or an auto or something out of this one. It's last pack mojo, or can we say last box mojo? Oh, we got something. Is that a 101? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Chris Paddock, rookie. That's actually not too bad, I don't, I don't think, either. Correa. Ooh. You, you guys know what happened there. Hey, Walker Bueller, one of the ones we were probably looking for, so that's pretty cool. I'm I'm excited to look at this. I believe it's gold, so it might be a one of one. And it is one of one. Joe Pal Palomembu? Palumbu? Palumbu, I think. 
That's awesome. One of one gold. Awesome. I I don't even know. I like I said, I haven't watched too much of this, but with what I have watched, I don't know if I saw one of one to be honest. Really awesome. Yeah. So, um, if you guys like that, I would definitely uh, pick this year's up. Um, you got till April third for Wave One. So I think it's awesome. I think it's a cool way to collect some of you know some of the smaller guys in the White Sox like Mickey Delmonico or Ivan Nova. You know, it's cool. So thank you all for tuning in. Let's go to the next scene. Hey guys, it's Ben for Midwest Box Breaks. First off, I hope everybody is safe and healthy and well. If you follow us closely, you know that we've got a Discord chat room we call Break Club. In that group, we've got a nice mix of everybody from all walks of life, new collectors, returning collectors, people that never left. We've got Phil Hughes, Gary V, Casey Carter from the Broncos, Daniel Tillo from the Royals, Brody the Kid, the Baseball Brit, brand new collectors, OG collectors, uh, people from all walks of life. Well, like anything else, Everybody is impacted differently from everything that's going on out there. So the first thing we did was we created a special room in our chat for people to just talk, stay informed, someone to lean on and share information and stories, uh, just relax and escape a little bit. But we also realized people still wanted a break and wanted that escape. There's no sports on and people needed something to do. And the breaks have been crazy. We've kept them cheap. We've kept them fun. We focus on the friendships, hanging out, trading, selling. Uh, people have brought their kids into the breaks, the learning for the new people, and just a place to hang out. And that's gone really well. Um, really proud of the group and the generosity. I think yesterday we had 25 racks, random acts of kindness, where people donated break spots to guys that were laid off or out of work or had been impacted financially and still wanted to be involved and enjoy cards together as a group. So we're really happy about that. Again, we're going to keep it cheap, we're going to keep it loose, relaxed, and just focus on hanging out and getting through this together. And if you want to check it out, you can go to MidwestBoxBreaks.com, and if you use coupon code BRODY, B-R-O-D-Y, you'll save 5% off anything you buy on that one purchase. And then hit me up on Twitter, at MidwestBoxBreak, and uh, DM me, and if you want to join our Discord group chat, we'd love to have you in there. So again, I hope everybody's safe and everybody's well and if you need anything please reach out to us thanks hi brody james from comc.com here and we are the safe and easy way to buy and sell online now with everything that's going on in our world we are going to have to take some pretty extraordinary measures to make sure that our 100 employees are safe during this time and that we can all get through this together um so you know it looks like just one person here but i'm representing our whole team of about 100 people um, so these are some really trying times for us and we're working really hard to see what we can do to make sure that our employees can work from home or they can be safe and, um, you know, we can keep doing what we do best, which is helping people sell their cards. And if you're shopping on our website, you know, we want to make sure that you can still get your cards in a timely manner. Um, so we are doing a lot behind the scenes to make that happen, but you wanted to know a little bit about me and what I'm doing during this time. So I am the communications manager for ComC, which means that I handle all of our social media I do a lot of our graphics and I also write a lot of our emails. Um, so that's, you know, if you've ever seen the ComC Twitter or the Instagram, that's all coming from me mostly. Um, so what am I doing during this time? Well, you know, I've used this time where I'm mostly at home to um, look at the cards that I already have. You know, we all have just huge boxes of the cards that, you know, maybe we don't look at for six months at a time. So I've gone through and I've been sorting out all my rookies and short prints from my base cards so that hopefully in the future I can give away my base cards and not worry that I'm giving away cards that might be too valuable. So I've been doing that. I've been watching a lot of YouTubers on um, on YouTube. Uh, my favorite channel right now is Phil's Pools. It's former Major League player Phil Hughes. And he opens a lot of really cool products like Sapphire and whatnot. So that's what I'm doing to stay connected to the hobby. And I'm hoping that we can resume back to normal and I can get down to my local card shop and open some Gypsy Queen baseball. And uh, yeah, so, you know, take care, everybody. And uh, thanks for having me on, Brody. Hey, everybody. John Newman from the Sports Card Nation podcast. Also, check out our new show, Hobby Quick Hits. Hobby Quick Hits is a short 15, 20 minute podcast that we release. One topic, no guests, in and out. Wherever, wherever hobby podcasts are found, you'll find Hobby Quick Hitch. Check that out. Uh, Brody, 
uh, congratulations on, on the Hobby Life show. Doing a great job with that, as I knew you would. Keep up the great content production. You know, a lot of people have some downtime and you you got to stay home. What's some things you can do uh, in the hobby uh, with the downtime that maybe you, you couldn't do uh, before when you didn't have as much time? Number one, catch up on all your favorite hobby podcasts. Now is a great opportunity. Get your cards organized if you fell a little bit behind on organizing them as, as well. Make some trades, make some deals. And, you know, a, a good thing to do during this time and these uncertain times, uh, everyone, reach out and call someone you, you haven't spoke to in a while. Maybe you lost some contact. See how they're doing. Uh, that stuff goes a long way. And there's a lot of many other great ideas of things you can do. Those are just some. So, again, Brody, keep up the great work. Uh, fist bumps. Uh, keep the fist bumps up. Just make sure you wash your hands uh, after you do them. Uh, thanks, everyone. Stay healthy. Stay safe. We'll see you. All right, guys. This will be the time of the show when we would announce the giveaways, the Beckett Graded Card, and the 2019-20 Optic Basketball Retail Box. That's a pretty big deal. Those things go for a lot of money. Thanks again to Cherry Collectibles for donating that. So, we're going to extend the giveaway for you guys because of all this times going on in the world. We're going to extend it so you guys have more time to enter. So remember... You have to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You have to retweet the tweet on Twitter, which we'll be posting today. And tag some friends. All right, guys, that's it for this episode of Hobby Life. Thank you to our sponsors, Beckett Media and Southern Hobby Supply. Thank you to all that sent to the videos. really means a lot to share your positivity with us all. You can follow me on Twitter at BrodyTK, on Instagram at BrodyTheKid1. Make sure to check out my brand new blog, where I interview on BigLeagueBreaks.com, got to remember the site, and where I interview Max Madness, OG Kid Collector, who paved the way for me. Also, if you guys send me a video of you, or what you're doing yourself to stay positive, to BrodyTheKid1 at gmail.com, I may just have a prize for you. All right, everybody, stay safe, wash your hands, and... Have fun while you're locked down. Peace out.